Hey guys, how's it going today? It is Jack from the Drone Zone. Today I got a really high requested video to show you. This is how to remove the front and rear arm on the Matic Mini. So if you guys are wondering how to do this, if you've crashed your drone, damaged them, or just curious on how to do this, I'm gonna show you exactly how in this video. So there's gonna be four screws for the top shell and two screws for the bottom shell. You're gonna to wanna to remove both of those. And if you want exact, if you wanna know exactly how to do that, I'll have a video showing you guys how to do that in the description below. So the first step is just to get that top shell removed and then we're going to begin to take out the two screws holding in the arm bracket and this is for the front arm. So these are two Phillips head screws. You can go ahead and remove both of those. And once you have them removed, I'm going to show you a trick on how to get underneath the arm bracket and actually pry it out of the frame. So once you have the screws out, go ahead and flip the drone over and you'll see right where the arm bracket is a tiny little silver dot. That's going to be the top of the arm bracket. Just go ahead and push that down a little bit and you'll be able to have some room to actually pry underneath the arm bracket and get it out of the drone. So keep in mind this will need to be reset just like any other Mavic 2, Mavic Air, or Mavic Pro arm bracket and I'll show you exactly how to do that. If you guys want a whole video on how to exactly do that, I'll have a link for that in the description below as well. So once you have the arm bracket out, let's begin to remove this antenna wire connected to the front arm. Go ahead and get that heat sink off of there and then you'll expose the two connectors on the main board. Once you have the wire you need removed, go ahead and fish it through the frame. There's a little bit of a channel created on the frame for this wire and it is actually quite tight to get the wire through there. So take your time and make sure it is completely flush to the frame so you don't break anything off of it. As you can see, I had to get right over the drone and you know take my time so I didn't break anything. All right, so now we're on the last step of this front arm. Go ahead and desolder these motor wires and then just break the glue off that is holding them to the frame. The glue that's holding them to the frame is actually extremely strong. You can't just break it off with your fingers. You're gonna need to grab some tweezers or something a little bit stronger. I'm using hemostats in this video and the hemostats actually got a really good grip on there, which made it a lot easier to break off. So now that you have all that removed, we can go ahead and actually take that arm out of the drone. So let's move on to the rear arm. The rear arm's a little bit simpler. There's only two screws locking it to the frame. One on the top of the arm and one on the bottom. You can use the same screwdriver for every screw on the Mavic Mini. It's actually pretty convenient, so don't stress about having all the tools. So once those two screws are removed, you can actually loosen it from the frame, and then the last step would just be to desolder those motor wires. It's not comfortable in general taking apart your drone because it can be pretty overwhelming. Uh, feel free to send it into D and we'll get right back to you guys. So this is a step I really recommend everyone start doing if you're not. And this is just cleaning the solder off the pads and adding fresh solder. What this is gonna do is just ensure a solid connection and make sure there's fresh flux on the pads so you have an easy time resoldering the wires. So now that that fresh solder is on there, we're going to begin to install our new arms that are working properly. So slide those wires through the rear arm bracket. And this is pretty simple. Just make sure the wires don't get hung up on any of the frame. And as long as they don't get hung up, it's going to be a pretty simple time. Just make sure you put the arm back in the direction you took it out. So if you took the arm out in the open position, put the arm back in in the open position or vice versa. If it was closed, just put it back in the closed position. So once the arm is seated into the frame, go ahead and grab those screws and make sure this guy doesn't fall out on you. All right, so now that the screws are in there, just make sure the arm is working and now begin to solder those motor wires back onto the four in one. So as you can see here, I actually ended up bridging those two little pads, but if you're if you know what you're doing you can just clean it up and you'll have no problems all right so here's the hole for the front motor so go ahead and slide those wires through that hole and then I'll show you where to put this UFL connector for the antenna all right so we're gonna grab this arm bracket now and we're gonna reset it so grab it with some forceps tweezers pliers whatever 
and then stick your tweezers in the two holes of the arm bracket and rotate it. It'll be very stiff when you start to rotate it. And when you get it in the sweet spot, it'll actually loosen up and become kind of easy. And that's going to be where you want the arm bracket to be. So once you have it in that position, go ahead and line it up with the frame and the arm and fully seat it down in the frame. Make sure it's working and you're good to go. Again, if you guys want an actual video on just just repeat, uh, resetting that arm bracket, that will be linked in the description below. It's the same for all drones, Mavic Pro, Mavic 2, Mavic Air, and the Mavic Mini. So go ahead and get those Phillips screws back into the arm bracket so it's held in place. And now let's route this UFL slash antenna wire. So if you guys can see there, there's that tiny little channel on the side of the frame, and that's where the UFL needs to be slid through. So ensure that the UFL is completely flush to the frame before you do this, or else it'll get stuck in there. So that's why I had to pull it off out of the view, just to make sure it was completely flush. Pull it on through the frame there and get it reconnected. And we are on our way to being done here. So let's solder these motor wires back to the four and one, and we are almost done. We're on the last step. We just got to put the top shell and the bottom shell on from here and we'll be good to go guys. So if these videos are helping you guys with the Mavic Mini and just in general just knowing about the drone, let me know in the comment section down below. Really appreciate all the support on the last video we did. But yeah, we're wrapping this one up. So we're putting the screws in for the bottom shell and now we're going to go ahead and slap this top shell on here. All right, so let's get these screws in here so this doesn't come flying off during flight. And let's put a battery in here and see if they are working. So the ESC booted up just fine, all the motors ticked, and there we go, got them spooling up. So really appreciate all the support on the last video. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. See you in the next video, you guys.